everybody, it's Kira from Plaid. Welcome back. We are here this week live with our new product showcase featuring all the brand new products at Walmart and Walmart.com. So we have been talking about new formulas, new colors, new tools, and right this afternoon, we are gonna be talking all about wood burning. So we've got some great products, again, available at your local Walmart and Walmart.com. We've got Emma here in the studio, so in a minute, I'm gonna turn it over to her, and she's gonna show you great tips and tricks and beautiful projects that you can create with the complete system that we have for wood burning. Um, I have the iPad here, so if you have any questions while we're live, please go ahead and ask them or comment. We'll try to get you answers. You can watch this video live on right here on our Facebook page after we are done going live with you, or you can watch it on Plaid's YouTube channel. So again, we are talking all about brand new product for 2022 that is available at your local Walmart and walmart.com. So wood burning, it is such a great technique. It is um, such an old, beautiful technique and we've made it really easy. It's so trendy. It is great for multiple surface. You think wood burning, oh, you can just burn a plain piece of wood. Well, there's so many different things that you can do with it. And like um, I said, Emma's gonna walk you through that, but I just wanna show you some fun examples. So we're talking about wood burning. You could wood burn on cork. These are beautiful um, antique like wood spoons. So again, you could use these or they're great just for decorative purposes. You can really personalize things. These are our wood blanks. We've got these great wood surfaces available at Walmart and walmart.com and they have like bark on them. So it's like a live piece of wood and you can see we just um, personalize these. You can make canvas or um, coasters with them. This is a wood letter and you can actually use wood burning and then you can paint on top of it. So whether it's folk art, Waverly, Apple Barrel, you can actually combine wood burning and paint and add a pop of color and really personalize your projects. So these are just some great examples here. And these are some of the products we're gonna be featuring. So we have got a 15 piece wood burning set. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and open this. It's taped closed real quick. Oh no. I don't want to rip the packaging for you guys. Sorry about that. The beauty of live. <laughs> so we've got a 15 piece wood burning set. So I want to show you how great this kit is and everything you need to get started. So we've got a wood burner that has a dial on it. So we've got this great wood burning tool. Again, it has been created to make it really easy to create wood burning shapes and patterns. We have got, it has a dial on it so you can um, control the temperature. It comes with this great stand and then it has different tips and Emma's going to walk you through exactly what comes with it. But it comes with a variety of different tips and you can get different shapes and do different techniques with it and you can get a lot of really great fine details. So Emma will walk you through that. It also comes with a blade so you can cut it. So this is great for cutting um, like plastics and um, you could even cut through cork and it just makes it really simple. These are, this is great for those like fake pumpkins at Halloween. You can actually cut detail into it. So it you know, works on styrofoam also. So this, and it comes in this plastic case, which is really great. We showed this case, um, if you didn't catch us earlier, we were talking about the engraving tool. And this is just another great addition that we have with plaid for Walmart. So we've got the wood burning set. We also have just a wood burning tool. So this is um, a really great, you know, same technique. It's just a little bit different. This has an on and off switch and it comes with your tips also. So it's eight pieces. And again, this is just, it can do the same things. It's just a smaller um, set. You don't get the case or as many tips, but it does great work with wood burning. We also have our wood burning. We've got, this is just a 26 piece tip set. So if you have this wood burner, then you can just add to your tips. And again, Emma's gonna walk you through. And the great thing, um, this has a little um, piece of cardboard on here to hold it up for the camera, but the great thing is there's so much education available and it shows exactly what each tip does. So when you get this home, you're gonna be able to get started and create a lot of really beautiful DIY and decor pieces and gifts. This is great for personalizing. And then we also have so much to show you guys on this one. <laughs> we have these wood burning pattern sheets. So again, we talked about engraving pattern sheets and those are interchangeable. So you could use your engraving pattern sheets for wood burning and vice versa because it's a lot of the same technique. So this is a five piece set. 
And again, you can definitely personalize and pick your own patterns, but we've made it really easy. And there's five reusable sheets. So we've got a beautiful alphabet. I love the script font. Again, this is great for monograms and gift giving and sign making. We have, um, this one's upside down. So this is just beautiful floral borders and decals. These are all upside down. Huh. I'm on, I'm on a roll here this afternoon. <laughs> so this one is great. This is, and um, Emma has some great projects. So this is um, gardening and florals, and you've got all your herbs here. So cilantro, oregano, thyme. So these are great to make little garden pokes. And we have some of those surfaces also available at Walmart and walmart.com. And last but not least, we're kind of sticking with the cooking, baking, home thing. So we've got Let's Eat, Cooked with Love. And again, this is great for um, like cutting boards or trivets or coasters or like the spoons. Again, just really great fun designs and they can all be interchangeable. So if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us. We are talking all about new product at Walmart for 2022 in your local Walmart and walmart.com. We've got Emma here who is going to take over and she is going to talk all about wood burning and show you all the great features and benefits and how easy it is to DIY with these great plaid tools. So I've got comments here. I'll be watching live. So if you have any questions, let us know. So go ahead, Emma, get started. Awesome. Thanks, Kira. So like Kira said, we are so excited here at Plaid because we have so many great tools and uh, tips and designs for you guys to get started with your very own wood burning projects at home. So like Kira said, there are lots of different things to choose from. So hopefully today we can break it down for you a little bit and then you can see what piques your interest and then you'll be able to purchase them for yourself at your local Walmart or walmart.com. So let's start off first with the basics. So um, another great thing about Walmart is that they have a lot of great surfaces in their crafting aisle and in their home decor aisle that you can choose from, um, same with walmart.com, that you can get started with your wood burning. So Plaid actually makes a really great set of coasters. They come in a set of four. Like Kira was talking about, they have that live bark edge on the edge of the coaster or the wood round. Um, this is one of our favorite surfaces to wood burn on. You can see here we did some really um, beautiful designs and then of course we even added some colorful details with folk art multi-surface paint. So here we have one of our coasters and I'm going to show you guys how to transfer a pattern from one of our wood burning pattern packs onto a coaster to get started. So if you tuned in to our video earlier today where we went all over our plaid engraving tool, um, we demoed how to transfer a pattern. So if you tuned into that earlier today, then you are already a pro at this. Um, so like Kira said, it comes with four different pattern sheets and it comes with a sheet of transfer paper. And the great thing about this is that they're all reusable, even the transfer paper. If you've never used transfer paper before, um, then you will be happy to know that it's reusable and you can use it a couple of times. So that's really exciting. So it looks like this when you get it. We'll unfold it. So this is our transfer paper right here. And then it comes with these four beautiful pattern sheets that I have right here for you. So like Kira was saying, um, it comes with a beautiful script font alphabet and then some beautiful um, handcrafted designs. So all you need to do um, to get started is you can either cut out one of these patterns for yourself or you can keep the pattern whole and uh, use it like that to transfer. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down today just to get it to a workable size. So let's take this R and we'll do a little monogram coaster today. All right, so just like earlier, we have our R ready, so we know what size that's gonna be. And now we're gonna cut out a sheet of transfer paper that's just a little bit bigger than whatever pattern we cut out. There we go. And um, it's always good when I'm working with transfer paper to have some type of tape just to secure our transfer paper and whatever we're trying to transfer down to our surface. So right here we just have some regular old masking tape which you can also pick up at Walmart. 
someone has a question, Emma, while you're doing that yeah. real quick. They want to know if the tips are sold separate. So we're featuring a couple different options for you that are available, whether it's in your local store or walmart.com. So we have got, and you want to search plaid wood burning set or wood burning tool. So we've got the decorative wood burning set, which is 15 pieces, which has the tool that has the temperature gauge on it. It comes with um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It comes with nine different accessories with it, plus it has the um, case. So it has five wood burning tips, one knife tip, one transfer tip, three design stamps, and a soldering tip. So that is the wood burning set. Then we also have the wood burning tool that is eight pieces, which comes with multiple tips and it has an on and off switch. And then we have our wood burning, um, our deck, decorative wood burning. So these are, is this is our 26 piece tip set. So this is just the tips that are interchangeable with the plaid tools. So either one of these tools from plaid, these tips will work with it. So I hope that answers your question. Awesome, yeah, it's great that you can um, mix and match. Yes. You can see which one after today you are interested in. Then you can pick it up at Walmart. Absolutely. Okay, so all I did here is I laid down my transfer paper onto my surface and I went ahead and taped it down, made sure it was secure. Um, and what we're looking for is we want, there's a waxy side and there's a chalky side to our transfer paper if you don't know. We want the waxy side down touching our surface. So now that that's down, waxy side down, we are going to center our monogram and I'm going to tape that down right on top of our transfer paper. And now you're going to want to have a pencil or a pen or a stylus. I like to use either a pencil or a pen. That way when I go over my pattern, I know which areas I've already marked. So we're just going to trace our monogram. Super, super simple. And the great thing about these pattern packs is that there are so many different patterns to choose from. Um, and, you know, we're doing a monogram today, but you can do full phrases like Kira was saying and create beautiful signs. You can do a last name and really personalize it. Um, the great thing about wood burning and our engraving tool that we talked about earlier today are that the ways that you can personalize your DIY projects are really endless. Um, and it's, you know, we think about gifting season being in winter, but this is also kind of a gifting season with Mother's Day and end of school and Father's graduation. Day. Father's That's Day. Father's Day. That's a great idea. Yeah, exactly. So it's always good to have those things in the back of your mind. And these um, tools that we're talking about, and really all this week, are really great tools to pick up to get started and to make some really personalized gifts this year. Or if you're not a um, crafty or DIYer, um, this is a great gift to give. So if you're not making the gift and you know somebody that would be interested in this or they've done it before, have always wanted to try it, this is a great gift to give. I love giving supplies and it's almost like an experience or lessons you're giving them. And again, we've got so much great education that you're giving this gift to them. So that's a really great point, Emma, for the gift giving. Yes. So whether you're making or just giving, and you could ship right from walmart.com, which is awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. Yep. Um, and too, like th these are kind of unique products too. If you have a painter in your life or somebody who quilts or knits, then these might be products that they've never really thought about dabbling in. The engraving tool and the wood burning tool. I think about my dad and he does painting <laughs> and he does um, like watercolor and a lot of different painting techniques, but this would be something that he would be really excited to try. Um, and you can pick it up at Walmart, so yeah. Okay, so we have our uh, pattern transfer down, our sweet little R. One thing that I want to point out to you guys at home is that because we are working with a super hot uh, heat tool, I just like to make sure that we're working in a safe environment. So what I like to pick up is a clamp like this, and I just go ahead and clamp, I already have one on my table here, you can't see it, but I've gone ahead and clamped my wire to my workstation. That way I don't have to worry about my wood burning tool falling in my lap or anything like that. And we've mentioned this too, um, both of our wood burning, our wood burning tool and our wood burning set, they both come with a little stand to make it really easy to uh, lay your wood burning tool down and not have to think about it. 
So whenever I'm wood burning, I always like to have a scrap piece of wood. And this is a wood that's going to be a softer type of wood, so like a basswood or a pine wood, any type of craft wood really. A little bit has a little bit of thickness to it. And why I like to have a scrap piece of wood is it's always good to test out the temperature. The great thing about our wood burning tool is that it does have that temperature control dial, but I like to have like a kind of visual experience with it and just see for myself how, um, how dark, how hot our, our wood burning tool is and how dark our pattern is gonna be. So that is a good darkness for me. You guys can see that there. So we're ready to get started. Um, what I like to do when I'm wood burning is I kind of like to lightly go over my pattern. So I'll show you guys like this, just kind of rocking back and forth. And hope my head's not in the way. I'm going ahead and I'm just tracing our initial pattern and then as you guys can see for those bigger areas I'm just kind of going in a swirling motion making sure that that is all nice and shaded in. Can you guys see that? Yeah it looks great Emma. Cool. And again you don't have to apply a lot of pressure. Yeah absolutely um, and another thing that's good to know too um, like Kira said you don't have to apply a lot of pressure and the longer you hold the tip of your wood burning tool down to your surface, whether it's wood, leather, cork, the longer you hold it to your surface, the darker your pattern is gonna look. So if we're applying, um, you know, if we're just going over it quickly, you're gonna have a lighter appearance. And if you hold your tip down a little bit longer, then you're gonna have a darker appearance. And because you used pencil to transfer, you can always just erase any pencil that's left behind once it cools. Yes, that's and a that good will point. you know remember the wood burning is permanent. We had that question earlier. You know the engraving is permanent and the wood burning wood burning is permanent. Yeah, so we're just rocking back and forth here until we are satisfied with the um, pattern that we end up with. And so I am using. Let's see. Let's see. Which tip am I using? I think I'm using the tapered tip right now. So it's kind of a thin tip. Um, whenever I'm doing a calligraphy or a handwritten, hand lettered pattern like this, I like to use a finer tip just so that I can really get those fine details in. Um, and it's really precise. But when I am trying to shade in larger areas, then I like to go for a wider tip. And of course, I will show you guys all of the different um, tips that you guys can look forward to. Okay, so I won't do this whole entire monogram, but you can see just how quick and easy that is. All right, so I'm going to set my wood burning tool down on my station. Ooh, set it over here. And I want to tell you guys, because we're talking about safety with our wood burning tool, then of course you obviously don't want to touch your fingers to your wood burning tip. So what I like to have on hand if I wanted to change out my wood burning tip is just a regular pair of pliers that you would have in your workshop. Of course you can also pick this up at Walmart or Walmart.com. And I want to start talking about our um, alphabet stamp set. So if you are brand new to wood burning and you want to try it out but you are maybe um, you don't have the most steady hands and you um, aren't confident in making um, straight designs or something like that, then this is a really great um, product for you. We have all of the letters of the alphabet. Of course, you can use these over and over and over. They're metal stamp uh, tips. You can make some beautiful projects like this. We have um, this guy right here. Um, Amy and Josh Forever, like we were talking about, these are really great tools to pick up to craft for weddings and graduations and baby showers. Okay, so I want to show you guys how I like to um, change out my tips. And then Emma, some people were asking the types of wood, so I know you mentioned some, uh, you know, we talked about cork, 
um, and you know raw wood or you could do it on painted wood or stained wood but what were the other woods that you mentioned yeah so that's a great question so if you're a beginner then I would suggest starting out on some softer woods because you will get a um, quicker result that way and you it's really good to practice on you'll just find that it really burns uh, more quickly if you get into an intermediate level of wood burning, then this tool works great on some harder woods too, like teak wood and oak wood and stuff like that. You want to make sure that you are wood burning on an unfinished wood. Of course, you don't want to burn over a wood that has been finished with an epoxy or something like that because you don't want to burn off those chemicals. That wouldn't be safe. But um, like most of the wood surfaces you can find in your craft aisle at your local craft store, those are great, great woods to get started on. Okay, so I have my pliers here, and thank you, uh, for Dylan, for this little cup. Um, I'm going to put my hot tip in here. You wouldn't want to um, set your hot tip down somewhere where you would forget about it and uh, accidentally touch it. So I have my wood burning tool here. I have my pliers, and it is so simple to remove your tips. We're just going to go ahead and screw it off. My wood burning tool is still on. We don't have to turn it off. That would be a, kind of a pain in the butt to have to wait for it to cool down and then have to put a new tip on. You don't have to worry about doing that as long as you have a pair of pliers. Okay, so now that we don't have a tip on it, um, I'm going to take one of my alphabet stamps. I'm going to pick this up with a plier. So I'm just grabbing it from the end. Super simple to do. And now we're going to make contact with our wood burning tool again. Um, and I can show you guys up close, but there's a little screw on the back that screws right into the wood burning tool. And so any of these products that you see, any of these tips beside me are all um, compatible with any of our plaid wood burning tools. And someone has a couple uh, different questions here, Emma, while you're finishing that. So um, it should work on bamboo. I don't think that is something that we have burned on, so I would always test it, but bamboo should absolutely work. Yes. Totally. And then um, somebody asked, would it be good to do over freehand lettering? So absolutely, freehand, you know, any image, print something if you don't have the templates, but you can absolutely transfer that pattern or freehand it and then just take whatever tip you desire, you know, if you want fine or thicker, and you can mix and match them and trace right over that. Yes. So that's a great... Um, Great, great question. Absolutely. Like Kira said, we have these great patterns for you to get started with if you want to start dabbling in wood burning, and then um, you can absolutely uh, trace your own patterns or create your own patterns and then wood burn over them. So I'm glad that we're talking about all the different substrates that you can use, Kira, because we talked about um, you can use soft wood, you can use hard wood. The only thing that you really want to make sure of is that it's an unfinished wood, and that's really all you need to worry about. But our wood burning tools also work really great. Kira mentioned this a little bit. They also work really great on cork and leather, which is really exciting. Um, so you could make some really high-end gifts um, and some really home decor um, inspired uh, pieces and gifts with our wood burning tool. So of course I have this piece of leather right here that I'm going to do a little demo on. You can see to the sides of me we made these really pretty pieces of leather jewelry, this little band, um, these earrings, and these are both with our alphabet stencils or alphabet stamps I should say. So one thing I want to point out, when we're wood burning with leather, you want to make sure that you have a really dense leather. So we're not looking for a pebble grain leather or anything that has irregularities on the surface of our leather. This is a really dense, smooth leather, and we have found that that works really, really well with our wood burning tool. So those are things to note. I have that here. And it needs to be real leather. It can't be like a pleather or fake leather. Um, it needs to be true leather. Yeah, I'm glad you pointed that out, Kira, yeah. totally. Um, so another thing we should note, we're just, once we replace our tip, we just want to wait, you know, a minute or two, M make sure our tip heats up a little bit so that it really works to its fullest ability. And again, just like before, we take our scrap piece of wood, and I just want to see, um, do a little test. Yeah, do a little test, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so that's looking good. So we want to line up our stamp with our word, touch down, and release. And if you don't transfer it all over initially, you can do a little rocking motion. Perfect. So just like that. 
These um, would be so cute on like a tote bag or a gift bag, these little wood uh, leather rounds like that. You can do, like we said, jewelry, um, uh, you know, clothing items, stuff like that. The possibilities are endless. I love that lampshade, so yes. Emma has there. So we actually covered that lampshade in leather and then, well, we burnt it and then covered that lampshade. So again, home decor, jewelry, you could put a hole in those leather circles and make tags. Yes, They're absolutely. so great for gift giving. All right, so same thing as before. We are going to unscrew our tip here. Yeah, and that's a great tip to have a little cup. So you just have like a ceramic mug yeah. um, or a glass plate that you can put that hot tip on when you take it off and let it cool down. Yes, even if you, um, you know, if you have your your uh, scrap piece of wood right here, sometimes I just lay it on my little scrap piece of wood as well and that works really well. Okay, so I'm gonna set my tool down just for a second. Yeah, so if you're just joining us while Emma's resetting up there, um, we are talking all about new products for 2022 at Walmart and walmart.com. So this afternoon, we are featuring wood burning. So we have got some great sets. We've got the wood burning set, which includes um, five wood burning tips, one knife tip, one transfer tip, three design stamps, and one soldering. It comes in this great case. It's got a temperature control dial on it. So we've got the wood burning set. And something we haven't talked about is, and we're not going to get into that today, but the fact that you do get a knife tip, we talked about being able to cut, you know, plastic or stencils, like you can make your own stencils with stencil blanks. That's something we didn't mention. You've got a transfer tip so you can transfer images, 3D stamps, um, some, so there's some really great basic designs, like the letters you were just showing you, but these are just um, patterns and designs. And then soldering, so you're really getting multiple tips. You're getting, you know, four or five tools in one, which is so great. We have our wood burning tool. So this comes with, um, this is eight pieces, so it comes with a wood burning tool, comes with a stand and then tips. And again, what's so great is on the back, um, there's so much education. So you're gonna see exactly what to do and what kind of shape each tip makes. And we've got our wood burning 26 piece tip set. So this is a variety of large and small tips, a transfer um, tip also. So this is really great. And these tips work interchangeable with both of our wood burning tools. And then we've got our transfer patterns, which I threw here on the floor. <laughs> So we've got a five piece wood burning um, pattern sheet. And so this is everything from garden to home decor to this great alphabet that you can reuse and personalize your projects. Um, I love the garden projects that Emma has up there. We actually sell those little garden markers and you know a lot of these great new wood surfaces. And I think Emma, you're actually gonna be talking about wood surfaces tomorrow yeah. that are available at Walmart and walmart.com. So really excited because all these unfinished wood surfaces surfaces are great to wood burn on. So yes. you want to stick for, stick around tomorrow for that. Absolutely, Kira. I have a little sneak peek of what we're going to be talking about oh, tomorrow. Good. Awesome. Um, we have this 12 piece garden poke set. Super, super cute and really fun surface to wood burn on. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's jump into our tip set. So it is a 20 piece tip set. Um, and like we said, it is totally compatible with either one of these wood burning tools, whether you pick up our wood burning tool or our wood burning set, these tips will work really nicely on it. And let's go through these tips, you guys. So we have a fine stencil tip, just like it says, it's really great for creating those fine, precise details. We have a script tip, which is great for calligraphy, hand lettering, the universal tip. So that's a really great beginner tip. You can get some um, broader, wider strokes with your wood burning tool or some finer, more precise strokes. Slanted tip, which is very similar to the universal tip. Um, calligraphy tip, um, our flow tip. The uh, dot tip, which is really great for making patterns. It is a little bit wider than some of our um, finer tips. Um, tapered tip, uh, we have a lot of these um, stamps that are combined into this set. So we have a dartboard tip, the stripe tip, um, a really, really great variety. We have our plus tip, the star tip, which I'm going to do a little demo of. It's um, heating up on our wood burning tool right now. Like we said, whenever you replace one of your tips, you just want to wait 30 seconds to a minute just for it to warm up before you start using it. So all these great tips. Um, and then, of course, we have these shading tips down here, which are great for wood burning some larger areas. 
Okay, so I have my scrap piece of wood. I just want to show you guys how one of these um, stamps would work. So I have my star stamp right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch down on my wood. You can see that's a little bit too warm. I'll show you guys what that looks like. So that's why it's good to have that scrap piece of wood. I never like to um, start wood burning immediately on the surface that I'm actually wanting to create a project on. It's always good to have that piece of wood. And sometimes you just have to repeatedly keep going on that scrap piece of wood until you get the temperature that you're looking for. So as you can see, I kept stamping and we're offloading some of that heat until we get our desired temperature. And that's all you need to do. Just see what you like the best. All right, and so look how clean and precise those patterns are too. So you get that same result with any of these tips. You get that really, really clean, precise pattern. Those look great. Yeah. And someone was just asking, I responded in the comments while you were, were working over there, crafting over there, if you can seal your project, wood or leather, once you burn. And yes, you can absolutely seal your project after Mod Podge is a great sealer. Um, <laughs> you can seal whether you want to put it outdoor or indoor, um, absolutely seal it. It's not going to affect the burn. The burn is permanent. And you can also apply paint to it. So Emma's got some examples up there. So she's burned her project, let it cool. And then you can go back and add whether it's a wash or full, um, like full color paint. So whether it's folk art or apple barrel, you can add a pop of color. So everything doesn't just need to be wood and burnt brown. Yeah, so. totally. Yeah, this, this P is a great um, example how we burned this pattern, this, um, you know, very abstract pattern, and then just filled in each triangle with a different color. And again, I love the look of a wash with the wood burning. So you get that really soft effect with the contrast of that burnt wood. Yes, Kira. I think you have some coasters up there too, but I know you have your hands, hands yeah. busy. Be careful. <laughs> Um, and like we said, you know, you absolutely, you definitely don't want to wood burn on a um, finished piece that has already been sealed. So that's a great point to point out that um, if you do want your project to be sealed, then you can absolutely wood burn first and then seal later. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just putting on a separate tip. I'm going to, you guys get excited, I'm going to start talking about our, um, our wood burning set here. So let's do that. Okay, so like we said, we have two different types of wood burning um, tools. You have the, um, the wood burning tool to my left here, which comes with a couple of different tips. And then like Kira was talking about earlier in our segment today, you have our wood burning set, which um, comes with a lot more tips and some different tips to create some really unique techniques with our wood burning tool. And of course, it comes with that great little case too. So I have right here on this uh, sweet little cutting board, we've done a great display to show you guys all of the different tips that come in our wood burning set and to really show off what they do. So this is what we're talking about. Okay, so we have these three stamps at the top here, which again, create these really precise patterns, just like our star pattern that we just did. And then you have these tips right here. So um, they're really great to start out with. We have our fine tip right here to get those really precise details. And then of course we have these wider tips if you want to um, shade bigger areas with your wood burning tool. Um, then, like Kira talked about, we have this hot knife tool, which is great for those faux, faux pumpkins around Halloween time. It's great for cutting styrofoam, uh, plastic, lots of great stuff. And then we have our soldering tool. So you guys can see we actually did solder this wire to create a beautiful little uh, pendant here. And then this guy at the top, which I'm really excited about, we also have a tip so you can transfer images. So if you um, are a Mod Podge fan, then you know we have lots of uh, great products for image transfer, but I'm so excited to show you guys about uh, this tip. It is um, really satisfying because it creates uh, y the effect instantly. You don't have to wait or anything. Um, it is a really, really exciting uh, feature to our wood burning collection. So I have my scrap piece of wood again. We just want to offload some of that heat. 
that's looking nice. Okay, I'm going to set that down for a second and show you guys how I set up my space for image transfer. So I have a little cutting mat and I just went ahead and I put um, one of our plaid wood coasters down on my cutting mat. I taped it to my cutting mat, make sure it's really secure that it's not going to wiggle around. And then we printed out a image um, and we, you want to make sure that whatever printer you use uses a dry toner. That's important to um, let this image transfer to your project. So we have a dry toner copy of an image. We just printed it from our printer. This is not um, a regular photo. You don't want to have that plastic coating like you would get when you get photos developed at a, um, like a photo developing place. Um, so this is just from a printer. And then we went ahead and we taped it to our um, cutting mat just to make sure that it's really secure, that nothing's going to wiggle around. And I'll show you why. Okay, so now that that's down, we have our wood burning tool again. And so all we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our photo is nice and secure to our surface. And we are going to touch down with our wood burning tool. Make sure that a lot of that heat is offset. And we're going to go ahead and start rubbing around. And it's okay if your paper starts to turn brown. Yes. You want to keep it moving. I think that's really important so you don't burn the paper. Yes. I mean, we are using heat just to be on, you know, so just be careful and, you know, do some practices. You know, try on some scraps of wood, print a couple, you know, of your photos and try. Because you'll get the feel of the pressure, like the hang and feel of the pressure that you need to apply to transfer that image. But it's okay if the paper starts to turn kind of that yellowish brown in spots. Yes, absolutely. Um, and like we said, grab a scrap piece of wood. That's a great idea. And the most important thing for this technique is that you just want to make sure that you just keep moving that tool around. You don't want to hold it down um, for that long and run the risk of, yeah, like Kira said, your paper burning to your surface. Okay. So you guys can see our image is starting to transfer. And the reason we have that little um, tape strip there is that's kind of acting as a hinge so that we can just peek in and see how our image is transferring onto our surface. Um, another thing too that I want to mention, um, like we said, you want to make sure that you keep this moving around your surface. But sometimes you'll notice that your paper wants to stick to the wood a little bit. And a remedy that we have for that is you just want to reapply that heat tool right over the surface where it's wanting to stick. That way you're going to heat up the ink a little bit and it's going to come right off. Okay, checking back in. So yeah, you guys, it is super quick to do, super simple. And then once you're done, you um, have transferred your image completely onto your wood surface. And so it works with color or black and white. And yes. it really does have that beautiful vintage look. So it won't be like a photo transfer, crisp and clean, but it's gonna have that beautiful vintage worn look and it's gonna look great with the wood burning. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, like we said, we have that uh, like little sepia printed photo that looks really vintage, like Kira said. Um, like Kira said, you don't get that crisp, clean um, photo, but it is that rustic vintage feel, which is so unique and so fun about our um, wood burning tool and the little image transfer tip that you get in the wood burning set. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thanks, Emma. You guys, great questions. Thank you so much for asking questions. We hope you're excited about the entire wood burning program. We've got the wood burning tool, the tip set, and the patterns at Walmart and Walmart.com. So be sure to check that out. Emma will be here tomorrow to show you all the great surfaces that we have available. And again, those work great with all of our paints and our wood burning tools. So you guys, check this out if you want to watch again on Facebook or YouTube. Go to walmartwalmart.com to get your product, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.